The announcement follows Joshua's impressive win against Otto Wallen and Ngannou's strong performance against Tyson Fury. Even though he ultimately lost the fight on a split decision, Ngannou's stock rose due to his professional debut, where he knocked Fury down in the third round and went the full distance. As such, Carl Froch believes Joshua could struggle. My initial thoughts are it's not a bad fight. It's a fight that Anthony Joshua could potentially struggle with. We saw Ngannou against Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury struggled. Was that because Ngannou is really good or Fury didn't quite turn up? I think the latter, but Ngannou was tidy. It's a fight I'm looking forward to if I'm totally honest. It's a fight I could get excited about. I'm just not sure that it should be happening, because Anthony Joshua wants to become a three-time heavyweight champion. But where's the title? While waiting for Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk to settle their undisputed affair, Karl Froch mentioned two top contenders that he would like to see Anthony Joshua fight. These contenders are Philip Ergovic, who was previously considered the frontrunner, and Zhele Zhang. The Ergovic fights big that could potentially be for the IBF title, the Zhele Zhang fight, that's a fight I want to see Anthony Joshua in. We're getting further and further away from these fights happening if he jumps in there with Ngannou. Finally, though he'll tune in. The former super middleweight champion turned Hall of Famer, believes it's not good for the heavyweight division. This fight is gonna be acceptable because Ngannou did so well against Fury, but let's be honest. This is a cash grab out in Saudi Arabia, and I don't think it's good for heavyweight boxing. The undercard for the fight is anticipated to be similar to previous Riyadh season events, and there is a possibility that it may include a match between Deontay Wilder and Zhang. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more of the same. See you soon.